Hi everybody, it's Brandon from Cointelli. In this video, I'm going to show you how to step-by-step -step import your client's crypto tax report into UltraTax 2021. So the first thing you want to do is go into your client management dashboard. At this point, your client should have completed their tax report and have sent it to you for download. Once here, click ready for download and choose the year that you want to download. Make sure also you're connected to UltraTax and download the XLS file for the tax year that you want to file. In this year, we're filing for 2021, so we'll do that. Now that is saved. Let's go back into our return here. We've got our client's return open. And what we're going to do is go to income. And then on the top menu here, let's go to B and D. Right on our schedule B, schedule D. Let's go into our schedule D, 8949. And now there's two ways you could do this. You can import through your schedule D, through your schedule for detail, and that's just fine. Or we can go through this virtual currency information section as well. Um, they're both pretty much going to give you the same result, but um, the virtual currency transactions allows you to map out with a little bit more detail. So perhaps there might be some slight differences there. So the first thing you want, so we're going to go through that section. So the first thing you want to do here is, of course, make sure it's checked to yes, which means that the client, of course, did have some interest in virtual currency this year, and then proceed to click on the S on the virtual currency transactions line. This will open up the import menu. And as you can see, I already have data in here from a previous import. So what we're going to do is we're going to import our uh, Schedule D, all right? So we're gonna click Statement and Import Spreadsheet. Now when this menu opens up, let's browse the Excel document file and go until you find your, until you find your UltraTax XLS file, which may be down here at the bottom, and then click. And once that loads, we'll click next. And now the second step of the import spreadsheet will open up. And this is where we're going to map out the import data so that it imports properly into UltraTax. So let's look, let's start from here. So first we need to deal with each column. Now ownership um it's not that important right now but what we need to do here is map out certain one of these for example transaction type we want to click transaction type uh, capital ordinary since there's no information here no need number of units sold right coin type there we go right. coin rather description all right date acquired make sure you map out date acquired date sold Proceeds will be the sales price. Cost will be the cost basis. Now we can even map out, we can even put the timestamp as well. So timestamp acquired and timestamp sold. Okay. Now, of course, we don't need to import this row, the uh, title row, so we can omit that. And then next we're going to import. Now you saw I had some pre-existing data there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all data with the imported data because I don't have any other uh, imports in this menu. So I'm only going to replace the existing data. It's going to be the same thing for me. Now, if you're importing it new, if there's nothing else that's been imported yet, you can click append imported data to existing data, which will of course append it to nothing. So it'll just import it fresh. Um, but if you want to replace, you can replace. So I'm going to replace it. Let's click OK. Great, and now it's been imported and you can see the mapping matches up to how we mapped it. It categorizes each coin uh, and it automatically calculates the gains and losses. You have your cost basis, sales prices here, and here's our sums. Now, one thing you might wanna do here, and I strongly recommend, is to then go in and review um, what has been imported and compare that to either the, you know, to the CSV file, or you can even compare it to the 8949 that your client gives you. Uh, we also provide that as well. And then from here, it's done. And that will flow into the rest of the return. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know. From here, you can move on to the rest of the client's return and 
proceed. And you can do this for the rest of your clients with the Ultratex. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment anytime and I'll see you next time. Thank you.